What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel, good to have you. Today I wanna to talk about an extra avenue that you could have in your business that's right under your nose that you've never even thought about. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. And if you're new here, I wanna welcome you to the family. If you haven't picked up my book, List to Last, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Everyone should pick up that book. It's been life-changing for so many people, and I'm just grateful to be able to share some of my experiences. It's actually called List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash, and it's basically my story of going through the crash, losing everything, and everything I learned from losing everything through the crash, and how you can prepare for the next crash and build a recession proof business. You see, I want every agent out there to have a business that doesn't go away when the market crashes like mine did. I want you to have a business in place that's gonna withstand any market conditions and thus reduce the failure rate in the industry because of the philosophies I'm sharing will help agents not have to get out of the business when the market crashes on top of the fact that out of the 87% of agents who fail, less are failing. So pick up the book and leave me an Amazon review, it'd really help me out. I'm also writing a third book I'm really excited about so be on the lookout for that as well. So today I wanna to talk about this extra spoke in your business, this, this avenue of business that I've been doing for a really long time and I haven't really shared it, um, but I think it's something that all of you can start doing, and you can benefit from, and it helps you in so many different ways. So let's get into it. This avenue I'm talking about is networking with other agents. Okay, so so many positive things comes out of this. I talked about it in another video, I'll link below, about three ways, three easy ways to get more listings. And the way that I talked about it in that video was by spotting the agents that represent a lot of buyers in your market, networking with those agents about what buyers they have on the sidelines or on the fence that's looking for particular properties they just can't find. With low inventory in the market right now, there's a lot of buyers out there that can't quite find what they're looking for. And so if you will step in and network with these agents and say, hey, how can I help you? What buyers do you have that you qu can't quite find exactly what they're looking for? Do they want something in this neighborhood and that neighborhood? You know, they're looking for this size house or that size condo. And then you can start picking out certain subdivisions and complexes that fit the criteria and start circle prospecting for that buyer, looking for a property to try to link that buyer up with. I do this with several agents in my market and I have capitalized on so many deals that I wouldn't have had a chance to even know about if I didn't network with these agents and try to find out what buyers they have that I can help with. Now I said that there's so many positive things that comes out of this. So here's a, here's a couple of them here. As your circle prospecting for that buyer, okay, let's say that you don't find a listing that that buyer wants, but you still created 10 more relationships with property owners that day that will do business with you in the future, okay? So everything should have dual purpose. With everything you do, you should have more than one reason why you are doing it, okay? Dual purpose. Everything should have dual purpose. So when you're circle prospecting, you're looking for a property for that buyer, Okay, that's one purpose, but another purpose might be that you're just trying to create more relationships and build your database bigger, right? Your object as an agent is to create relationships and build your database full of people who love you and want to do business with you. So you can network with the other agent about what buyers they have. Use that as an excuse to call more owners to create more relationships. And who knows, you might actually find an owner that wants to sell for a price the buyer's willing to pay and then you have a deal out of nowhere. It's happened to me countless times. And I'm still doing it today. I actually have a listing right now as we speak, I have a listing that I found from Circle Prospecting uh, looking for it for a buyer that one of an agent, another agent in my office had the buyer said, I'm looking for this and I went and found that, but the buyer ended up not buying it. They changed their mind or was wishy-washy or whatever the case may be. Well, I listed the property. Now I have it listed, but 
there's been so many times where the buyer did step up and actually buy the property that I found. I can't even count. I don't even know how many of these properties I found and, and did this whole transaction with. So this is a really good strategy. It also deepens your relationships with the agents around town. Right? And I don't think you should necessarily just go after the ones that represent a lot of buyers. Let's network with as many agents as we can about how we can help them, what clients do they have, because it can go both ways. Right? You can say, hey, what kind of pocket listings, what kind of sellers do you have? Right? And, and you know, you may have a buyer. You may have a buyer for something they have that's off the market, but they know the seller will sell. They just don't really want it to be listed. And you have a buyer looking for that specific thing, vice versa. So there's a lot to be said about networking with agents, trying to put deals together off market, deepening your relationships with the agents in your local market is always good. Agents in your market are could be debatably even worth more to you than your clients. They're, they're, they're at least on the same level. Okay, they're very important. They're selling your listings, you're selling their listings, you're working together all the time. Those relationships need to be taken seriously. This is something you can do as a new agent as well. Network with other agents, see what kind of buyers they have, use that information to go, you know, as an excuse to go talk to owners. So how do we find owners' phone numbers? Red X. Red X is, has the best data that I've found. They're geo leads. You put an address on the address bar, finds all the owners in the subdivision with one click of a mouse. Used to take me 10 hours. So you can save $150 in the link in the description, the Red X discount. There's also a video below that goes through step by step that I made that tells you exactly how to find, uh, how to go through the process of finding those numbers. And I would also suggest getting their Onyx expired leads and their storm dialer. So you can just use their dialer to just blow right through the numbers. You know, you can call a couple hundred numbers in a couple hours. It's literally the best tool out there for real estate agents because voice to voice is the reason why technology will not replace real estate agents. And voice to voice is the reason why I sell so much property because I understand that voice to voice is where it's at. Technology is great. Use technology to get to the voice to voice. And if there's a thing like Red X out there that actually just lets you go straight to the voice to voice, what's more efficient than that? Talking to property owners who already own the type of property you want to sell or that own the type of property that you know a buyer is waiting for is the most efficient, most effective way that you can spend your time. So I hope this video really helped you a lot. Please hit that like button and shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope it adds another layer and another dimension to your business and just helps you grow stronger and, and, and have better roots and a better foundation moving forward as you go deeper with some of these relationships with other agents. It's huge. And I want to say I really appreciate your time watching these videos. I know that you're getting a lot of value out of it or you wouldn't keep watching video after video after video, but I just want to let you know how much I appreciate it. When I say at the end of my videos, is there anything in the world I can do for you? I'm being dead serious. I answer every single DM on Instagram, I answer every question, I talk about whatever, and love hearing about your small successes along the way. So keep them coming. And until the next video, let's go.